Hi Amy, Chef Ryan Anderson here. We're making uh, Japanese tuna maki rolls at the American Club Demo Kitchen. Let's get into it. First, what we're going to do is take our uh, nori roll, our seaweed. This is a maki roll, so the seaweed is on the outside of this roll. There is a smooth side and a rough side. We're going to put the rough side, we're going to lay that right here, smooth side on the outside of our sushi mat, just like this, and we're going to add our rice to it now. You want to dip your fingers just a little bit. The rice is sticky. We prepared this ahead of time here. And it's just this nice botan short grain rice that we're going to now just kind of gently spread three quarters of the way on our maki roll here. And you're going to have to dip your fingers and kind of go back and forth with it just a little bit here. This rice is an excellent, excellent rice to cook. It's real easy to prepare. Simply just made in a uh, one and a half times water to rice ratio. And you just kind of cook it for about 10 minutes and then allow it to steam for the equal amount of time of 10 minutes. And we're just going to kind of keep adding. And you kind of keep, have to keep dipping your fingers here because it's a little, a little starchy, just a little bit. Just add. So it's a nice even layer of rice on, like I said, three quarters to two thirds of your nori paper here. And this prov provides the foundation for our roll now here with the nori on the outside, the rice in the middle. And now we can, at this point, add any of the ingredients that we would like to. And today we're using tuna, the best tuna you can get. And what we have here today is our ahi tuna. Or right here we have, this is ahi tuna number one plus plus. This is the best tuna that you can buy. You want to definitely use the best that you can get your hands on. This is from Honolulu, Hawaii. It has a beautiful red ruby color and just nice amount of fat content to it. This is the best. You really want to seek out your fishmonger here and get the best quality fish that you possibly can. And what we're going to do here for this is just slice this into nice little logs, little strips. We'll just take our knife here. And the nice thing with tuna, it slices so easily. You can make these perfect little logs out of it. And there's little pieces like this, you know, and then you just want all your garnishment to kind of match in size here. Just like this. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of lay that right here, at kind of about the center of the maki roll. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of cucumber here. I have nice uh, English cucumber that I've just kind of sliced. Again, it's in the same shape as the, as the tuna is, and that just kind of lays gently in the middle here. I also have a little daikon. This is a Japanese radish, but it's very mild in flavor, and I've sliced it, again, into just kind of little matchstick pieces that kind of gently sit inside here with the tuna. Again, and you can add anything here. This is a great time that if you want to make crab salad or lobster salad, or if you want to just use your beautiful salmon that you have available to you, it works out perfectly. What I've done here also is I've made a spicy aioli. This is a sambal sauce, which is a nice kind of spicy sauce. Always has a green cap, always has a rooster on it. And I've added that to just a little bit of mayonnaise and put it into a little squeeze bottle so it's pretty easy to use here. And this just provides a nice creamy level of heat to my uh, maki roll. I don't want it to be crazy spicy, but just a little bit. Now, we're ready to roll. Simply with the maki roll, what you want to do is kind of gently wet the other side of the the nori paper here where it hasn't, the rice is not, we didn't put the rice up there. And now we're going to grab the back of our sushi mat here and we're going to fold this over and continuously rolling as we go. So it just gently goes over like this and you want to give it a nice squeeze and then pull your mat forward. Another little squeeze, pull your mat forward and squeeze and then bring it all the way over. Once it's come all the way over, you have it in here. What I like to do then is I give it a, like a little rounding, if you will, and it makes for a nice, smooth, round maki roll. Just like that. Then you can get rid of your mat here, and if a little bit falls off the sides and stuff, that's okay, because we usually trim off the sides anyways. This is your maki roll, right to this point. We'll just kind of gently trim the ends so it's nice and even. This is really for me to eat now. And then now we will cut our maki roll perfectly in half, perfectly in half again, and perfectly in half again. And then we have our little plate here. And I've cut it into four pieces here. You can cut these into eight definitely, but I kind of want to do four today. I just kind of liked how it looked. And I've added my traditional accompaniments of soy sauce, a little bit of pickled ginger for it, and then as much as you like a little heat here with the wasabi. And just kind of make that into a, like a little square, a little ball. Kind of roll it in your hands like that. It looks cute. Just like that. And this is your traditional tuna maki roll.